During the earlier videos in the series Walter CSI, I talked about how during the generative half of the cycle, we get the condition whereby centripetal motion on the outside is much stronger than the centrifugal motion on the inside. And the effect that that causes is that we get a vortex forming. And you can see here that although the rotation for both is towards me, so it's in the same direction, the blue wave looks like it's compressing towards the anode, while the red looks like it's moving away here, exhausting towards the cone base. So this particular arrangement here only refers to the generative half of the cycle. So what happens during the radiative half of the cycle? Well, essentially what happens is the strength of this centripetal vortex on the outside weakens. And that allows the excess pressure on the inside to gain the controlling hand and it expands outwards. So, for example, if we rotate the cone here, imagine the cone continues to rotate. But now what's going to happen is that at the apex, where the pressure is the greatest, as we rotate, the excess internal pressure will begin to radiate out. So we will get we will get the unwinding process occurring in a planar fashion rather than in a conical fashion. So the uh, the once dominant centripetal spiral on the outside weakens. And because of that, the pressure on the inside has a chance to expand radially outwards. And it's expanding radially from this common shaft that's running through the cone base to the apex. The ex outward explosion is much stronger here at the apex because that's the place of highest compression. And so when that centripetal motion relaxes, the internal centrifugal motion expands to the outside to the greatest effect. As we move up the, the original cone, the, the internal pressure is reducing. And so therefore, as we move up the cone, the extent of expanded radiation reduces. So in effect, we kind of get a reduced, we get the cone, an inverted cone, but it's referring to the ability of the internal pressure to push outwards. So it's greatest here, where which was once the apex, and it's minimum at this point. And so therefore the radiation here would, all be, would, would be quite small. And so you could look at it as being an inverted cone, but just be very careful when, you're, when you are talking about the radiative half of the cycle, that that inverted cone, that apex, is not a position of concentrated centripetal motion. It simply means that the centrifugal force is so weak at that point that it cannot throw its rings off to a very, very far out in a lateral, a lateral direction. 